Question 14 is a question on circle theorems um, and uh, let's work our way through this particular question. O is the centre of a circle, here's the centre. ABC is a straight line, ABC is a straight line, so in particular you know that angles on a straight line are equal to 180, so therefore this one here must be 62. We get that by just reading that. Angle CBD is 118. Work out the value of x. Now, we should uh, know that angles at centre are double angles at circumference, so therefore x must be 2 multiplied by 62. x therefore must be equal to 124 degrees. State the rule. Angles, see it's three marks for this. Angles at centre equal double angle at circumference. Okay, and also point here to this here on your diagram, say that uh, angle ABD must be uh, 180, subtract 118 equals 62 degrees. Show how you got this particular working here. Right, so then we're told that P is a point on the minor arc of AD. So P is a point here on the minor arc of AD. It just means AD... These two always have two arcs. They have a major arc, all this arc, and they have a minor arc, the smaller arc. Explain why angle A to P to D is 118. A to P to D is 118. So let's draw ourselves in this one here. Why is this angle here 118? Well, we have a cyclic quadrilateral now. We have formed a cyclic quadrilateral. A P, D and B is cyclic, therefore A, P, D, this angle must be 180, subtract the opposite one, 62, which is 118 degrees. It's as simple as that. Um, and you state the rule, uh, angle, opposite angles in cyclic add to 180 and it's as simple as that.